Yes, guys. So let's start looking at this topic of license of intellectual properties. Now, license of intellectual properties is a very, very interesting concept because you are in this one on five for the purpose of recognizing revenue from license of intellectual properties has divided the entire principle of licenses into two types. A license which gives access to intellectual property throughout the license period and a right to use intellectual property as it exists at a point of time. Now, I hope no one understood even a sentence what I said, but let's try to understand it with the help of certain examples. So when I say license of intellectual properties, what do you mean by intellectual properties? Any intangible asset? A software which I own, a movie which I produced, a music which I composed, a book which I have written, all these are intellectual properties. Intellectual properties arise when there is any patents or copyrights or trademarks are registered. In such case, I will come across this concept called as intellectual property. So if you want me to say, give me, give you certain examples, I can give you examples like music, videos, scripts which I have written or could be even in the case of uh, a particular software which has developed except just leaving it there, there are multiple other intellectual properties i don't want to name each and every one of them giving an understanding of what intellectual property is the main objective out here so i am saying whenever there is a license of intellectual property for the purpose of recognizing revenue i will divide these licenses into two types what are these two types First, is the license of intellectual property. I'm writing it as IP. Over the period of license, I'll explain what this is. The other one is license of intellectual property as it exists at the point of time when the license is granted. How are these two significantly different? License of intellectual property over a period of license, license of intellectual property as it exists at the point when the license has been granted. Now you tell me what do you understand from these two statements and how are they so significantly different? I'll tell you. I hope all those people who are watching us right now have either had an Amazon Prime membership or a Netflix membership or any other OTT platform membership. When I subscribe to the membership of an Amazon Prime or Netflix for a period of one year, it gives me a right to access whatever content is uploaded on Netflix or Amazon Prime existing at that same point of time. 
existing exactly on the day on which uh, such license has been given. At the same time, it also gives me access to view content which gets uploaded over the period of my license of one year. A new movie released right now. It got uploaded in Netflix four months later. I hold a membership for one year. I have an eligibility to view even such content which is uploaded into Netflix, not at the point when I took the license, but during the period of the license. So during the period of the entire 12 months, whatever content Netflix actually provides or whatever content Amazon Prime actually uploads on its platform, I will be entitled to view the content. That is called as license of intellectual property for a particular period of time, let's say one year. But license of an intellectual property as it exists at a point of time. I'll tell you. Think from the perspective of the movie producer. Mo movie producer has the license right of that particular movie which he produced. Let's say I'm talking about a grand scale movie like a Bahubal. So the producer owns the entire right of that particular intellectual property which is the video which he has which is in two parts of three hours each and probably six hours of content. That six hours of content, I'm leasing it out to Amazon Prime. I'm giving it on a lease to Amazon Prime. Now what happened? Amazon Prime has subscribed to the lease and has taken up the lease for a period of three years. Over three years, Amazon has a right to display the content which they have taken from me on license. Now, Will I produce another movie or will I make Bahubali part 3? Not possible. So as the intellectual property exists on today's day, which is in the form of 6 hours content, that 6 hours content I am giving a right to Amazon Prime to play the video. So in this case, the license of intellectual property, which is a movie, which the producer is giving to Amazon Prime to display it on his OTT platform, it is a license of intellectual property as it exists, as it exists on the day when the license is granted. Amazon Prime is not expecting me to develop any further content over that period of three years. He's saying whatever content you have, that I am taking a right to play this content for a period of three years is what I'm saying. These are two types of intellectual property. A license of intellectual property over a period of time, a license of intellectual property as it exists at a period of time. Nowadays, you have pay-per-view. Pay-per-view movie means you go to the platform like Zplex or anything. You basically click on the movie. You pay that certain amount of 49 rupees or 99 rupees for the movie and you can watch that particular movie. Such movie, let's say I have granted you a license to watch that movie if you made the payment once for a period of one year, I said. Will the movie change over a period of the year? Absolutely not. Will the climax change? Ultimately, the villain wins and the hero loses. That is not going to happen. So the movie content is going to be the same. The day on which I bought the license to watch that particular movie, whatever content was there, it will be the same content which will exist even at the end of the 12th month as well. So that is the second part where I said license of intellectual property as it exists at a point of time when the license is granted. Now, when I look at license of intellectual properties in this manner, look at this. Any license of intellectual property which has been paid over a period of like uh, for a period of license over the period of license, I am paying it. So something like your Amazon subscription. In such case, Revenue should be recognized over a period of time. Why over a period of time? Because as the contents get uploaded onto the OTT platform like Amazon Prime or Netflix, the control of that particular content is given to the subscriber of the license who have paid for that one year of license. So therefore, here the satisfaction of your performance obligation 
is met over the period of the license of 12 months. I cannot say you subscribed on 23rd of February 2021. So you are entitled to only watch the content which is existing as on 23rd February 2021, not past. Your license which you have subscribed on 23rd of February 2021 is existing until 22nd of February 2022. So whatever content exists at the point of subscription and whatever content is uploaded during this particular period of one year, the viewer or the purchaser of the license is entitled to view the content. So therefore, the performance obligation is not met at a point of time, but it is met over a period of that year, uh, period of the license. Let's go to the second part. It is a license of intellectual property as it exists at a point of time when the license is granted. At a point of time when I granted the license, this is the content. I've shown you the content. You want the license for 12 months or three years, I'll give it to you. So the person has actually subscribed to the license of intellectual property. Here, the content did not change. Therefore, performance obligation is met as soon as I granted the license. Therefore, in this case, revenue is recognized. At a point of time. What do you mean by over a period of time here in license of intellectual property? Over a period of time means the period for which the license was granted period for which license is granted License is granted for one year, then recognize revenue over that period of one year. License is granted for three years, then recognize revenue over three years period. If I look at this logic at a point of time, then in the case of at a point of time, I would say the point of grant of license, as soon as I granted the license, I can start recognizing revenue because the content is not new. It is going to be the same content which is made available to the subscriber of my license over a particular period. Since the license does not change or the content does not change, it shall be considered as a revenue recognized at a point of time. That is the point when the license was granted. This is particularly a very peculiar theory which has emerged. So what did I say? I'll sum it up. I'll sum it up and I'll say in the case of license of intellectual properties, I will divide the licenses into two types. First one, where the license has been granted for a period of time or I said, I'll go back to the PDF. Yeah, look at here. A right to access intellectual property throughout the license period, which results in revenue that is recognized over a time and the right to use intellectual property as it exists at the point at which the license is granted, which results in revenue to be recognized at a point of time. I've given you example. What is the example which I've taken? I'll come back to the example guys. I said, there is a movie producer This movie producer has intellectual property of videos or the movie that he has produced. And then there is an OTT platform. And there is ultimately a subscriber. of OTT. Here what is happening? The content is static for the movie producer. 
movie producer has produced a particular movie the movie is not going to change it is the same movie so once the license is granted to the ott platform then in this case there is a license to display content as it exists there is no change as it exists the same content will be shown in the ott platform but when ott platform gives the subscription or license to the subscriber then this license is to display content over the period of license generally annual subscriptions therefore whatever content that it displays over the entire one year the entire content is subscribed or is available to the subscriber to watch in this case i am saying where i gave you the situation of license to display content as it exists at the point of time so i will recognize revenue at a point of time who will recognize revenue at a point of time the movie producer because it is a movie producer who owns the intellectual property so he will recognize revenue at a point of time when the license is provided to the ott platform but in the other case where ott has given the right to subscriber to watch the content on the platform over the period of license then in such cases i'll recognize revenue over the period of license or over a period of time who will recognize revenue over a period of time the ott platform which has received the subscription money from the subscriber shall recognize revenue over the period of license here yeah. so this was the classic example which i have given because i took this example because both the type of licenses get covered in this particular example i know your ici has come out with completely different examples they are also easy to understand but this is one example which i thought is actually covering both the types of licenses in one single example and you understand exactly what is the difference in both the licenses clear so let's see what the uh, uh, you know what examples did the ICA give and what are certain illustrations based on these uh, topics.